Hi, everybody. Uh, we are Team Undecided Chaos and Shape Destruction, and that pretty much sums up how this quarter has been for us. Pretty undecided. Um, so right now, I'll introduce everybody. Uh, this is Steven. He worked on the HUD, uh, the user interface, and the particle effects. And we have Jeff, who worked on the world, sky, the ocean, and the terrain map and trees, and he'll talk about that later. Uh, we have Brian, who worked on some networking stuff, as well as the game engine and physics objects. And same goes with Steven. Uh, game engine, physics objects, sound, uh, etc. And Phil did all our models and character animations. And I did the game logic. Okay, so our game is Island Mayhem. Uh, Okay, so the storyline behind this is we're stranded here on this island and you'll see that we'll have a mana or energy and it is a third, third person shooter. Uh, we will, the, how the game works out, we have about 14 or 15 different items on the map that are only created once, so each one does a different, has a different effect. Uh, so. Uh, we have about half status effects and half are pure weapons. The status effects will uh, either cure, uh, poison, and we will get to that when you can see it. So. Oh. oh yeah, so first of all, can we have two volunteers? Uh, you and in the back. All right, so we are waiting for all our players to join. Jeff, while we're waiting, do you want to talk about the? So the island is rendered with a pixel shader, and it blends between three different textures based on height. And it has a uh, per pixel lighting, and it uses a normal map. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's our great bear that we turn into a shark. It's a bear shark. Um, the ocean is uh, NVIDIA's uh, ocean water shader. Um, I made an ocean shader myself, but it wasn't quite as nice as NVIDIA's, so we just decided to use that. Um, originally, the terrain was generated procedurally, but it was a little difficult to make an island. So eventually, I just uh, hand modeled it in Blender, which is a 3D modeler. And the sky is basically just a texture mapped on the sphere. And the trees are all uh, 3D models that were found online. And we just uh, distribute them randomly on the terrain. And I'll hand it back to Ryan. OK, as you can see, we've started our game. Um, we implemented in two different types of games. We have the deathmatch mode, which is a timer countdown. And whoever has the most kills will win. <laughs> I guess I can explain that later. Uh, and then we also have the, uh, we have a capture the flag mode, which we'll show you after. So how our items work is we will pick up the items, and if they're not selected, they will rotate around your body uh, using very little mana, uh, almost none. And when you select them, you hold them in front. So yeah, some of our different items are the coconut, the pineapple, and there's our health pack. Nice sized. And then this is the disease spell. Uh, you get hit with that once and you will die. <laughs> so yeah, the kind of the theme that we ended up going with uh, later on, we were pretty uh, mixed about what, what kind of game we wanted to make until the final few weeks. And so uh, this last week, we just decided to run with the island theme. And we went all out and just uh, tried to make all sorts of crazy island stuff and you know monkey sounds. So yeah, you can throw bananas. Okay, yeah. So um, you can have up to four items max, and whenever you pick up an uh, item on the ground, it will swap out. And so the ones that you're not equipped will rotate around the body, and those will be used for later purposes. 
Uh, this, this has some strategy involved to it. Uh, you can hoard items such as the health pack, which is the only thing that will cure disease. Um, and then we have our beach ball. Uh, originally our game was just shooting spheres for about nine weeks. We didn't have any other object. And so the beach ball is a tribute to that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so when the character deals, oh, when the character dies, they leave a little tombstone. <laughs> and apparently he is frozen. So also when they take damage, they turn a nice sunburnt red from being out in the sun too long. Um, also your mana will, the mana count reflects that in the HUD or the, the crosshair. So yeah, some of our sound effects um, we made ourselves. <laughs> not that, not that one, but <laughs> that part we really enjoyed. <laughs> Let's see. So right now he has a armor effect on. Uh, one of we have about five defensive type items, and then the other ten or so are offensive. So. The point is to try and balance the two in order to get <laughs> get the most kills. <laughs> yeah, so you probably saw it earlier, but we also have the bear in our game. Um, that's the reason why they can't leave the island. He's circling it, uh, pretending to be a shark, but he doesn't fool us. So yeah, some of these other status effect items like uh, speed boost will increase your speed. Um, also status effects release particle effects out of the character. Uh, the speed releases these white ones. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to go with a third person camera game uh, just to show off our character model a little bit get a little bit of a different experience than the first person. So, ended up being pretty cool. So yeah, when you die, you drop from the sky. Um, I think they're parachuting in new guys. So, those are your replacements. So let's see. Another uh, minute or so, we'll show the capture the flag game. Uh, our server is what chooses the game type. Uh, when the game ends, we can configure from the server side if we want to start a new death match or uh, capture the flag game. Uh, capture the flag was a little difficult because the map is kind of small, but. You'll see it'll, it'll be fun nonetheless. So yeah, overall it's just a pretty simple game, but it's fun and easy and just shoot each other with different island objects. Oh, so also we have this volcano that he's standing on. He's losing health while standing there. I don't know if he knew that. But, yeah, that's our volcano. <laughs> it's got some nice particle effects coming out. <laughs> that was the pineapple. Very yummy. <laughs> also yummy. So it looks like this game's about over.
right, so that was the deathmatch mode. Uh, do you want to start up the capture the flag? And we'll show that. All right. So for capture the flag, they are just colored on their team, what team they are. So you wanted to go for a swim. Let's try and capture a flag here. So that's the blow dart. A little gives them a poison status effect. I cannot see who has a flag or if someone does have it. And they have to return it to a little banana base. Oh, there's the flag with the banana in it. All right. <laughs> so yeah, you're not able to score. Oh man. Not able to ever score now. <laughs> well, yeah, so that about does it. We're just showing you a little <laughs> death match and capture the flag. <laughs> so if you have any questions, uh, we can answer those now. Nope. All right.